In this video, we're gonna talk about why I'm buying the Aura Ring 3, even though I'm disappointed. I've been a long time user of the Aura Ring. I've had it for about the last four years. I've made a lot of content on my channel about Aura Ring, sleep optimization, sleep tracking, all that fun stuff. And I wanna show you this quick picture right here. So I'm gonna put something up on the screen right here and right here. And we're gonna come back to this picture in a little bit, but this is the main reason why I'm going to be upgrading my Aura Ring 3, even though I feel like they really failed their community with their launch. What ended up happening is they made an announcement releasing their new Gen 3 and the new features that were gonna be available. And we're gonna talk about what those features are in just a second, but they decided to attach a small $6 a month subscription fee for new users who get the Gen 3. So the question begs like, what are you actually getting with the subscription fee? And based on my understanding and the conversations that I've had with other YouTubers and friends who use the Aura Ring, it looks like what you're actually just getting is access to your own data, the data that you previously already had access to with Gen 2 and even Gen 1, which is all the important sleep data and activity data that you need in order to understand what's really going on with your sleep. Basically every single metric other than those main three scores, the readiness score, your activity score, and your sleep score, Everything else is not available to you unless you pay for the subscription. In addition to that, what you also get is access to their library of, let's just call it meditation, breath work, guided visualization type library of content, which is something that I predicted that they would include in their new generation. I will link up the video where I, I talk about what I expected and what those predictions were and, and why I think they're going the way that they're going. So you can go watch that afterwards. But what ended up happening is they basically gave us all these features with Gen 1 and Gen 2 saying, hey, here's what you get when you pay $2.99 or $3.99 for the ring, flat out, no subscription. Here's all this data so that you can start making changes to your health, you can start changing your lifestyle, you can start tweaking and testing things and really know what is moving the needle, what is making a difference and what isn't. So here's where they went wrong. All that data that they originally gave us is now being taken away through the subscription to new potential users. So if they had never included that stuff from the beginning, then I feel like no one would be up in arms or angry about what they've done. However, that was not the case. They had all these features built into the previous generations and now they're saying, okay, this is now going behind a paywall. Bad move on their part, not in good taste. It really breaks my heart because I've been a huge advocate for Aura Ring and I really believe in what they're doing. I believe in their company. I believe in their ability to help people make behavioral change and be more conscious about what makes them feel certain ways and what things impact their sleep. And it's changed my life completely. And I made a whole nother video years ago talking about how tracking my sleep is changing my life. And I will link it up right here for you to go to watch afterwards. And I uh, have recommended Aura Ring to many, many people. And I've almost like sort of been able to start solving some very, what seemed like complex health problems for myself and now helped thousands of people through my content and my course of sleep advantage because I got so obsessed with the power of being able to track and quantify your sleep and then being able to make educated decisions and run experiments that can help improve your quality of life and your health. So if you are interested in improving and optimizing your sleep, then definitely go check out the link in the description for the sleep advantage where you can learn more about that. So I want to now go into what are the new features that you actually get and why this is so important. The first feature that they added that is really exciting is active heart rate tracking. So this is really cool because you'll be able to see what is happening with your heart rate, whether you're doing a workout or a meditation or you're doing some breath work or you're doing some cycling or swimming or whatever your activity of choice is, just like the Polar H10 chest strap, which I've done another video about, which I will link up up here and down in the description as well, you will be able to see what's happening to your heart rate in real time, which is amazing. Because I believe that people want more than just their sleep data. They also want to know what's going on with their fitness and activity data and how they can merge those. So they don't have to buy multiple devices, like have an Apple Watch and a Polar H10 and an Aura Ring and a Whoop and like all, all these different things. The more we can start to aggregate this data into just one platform, the easier I think it is and the better for the users and customers it becomes. The next thing that they improved was a lot of the temperature detection sensors. And because of what was happening in the last couple of years, Aura has really doubled down on making sure that their accuracy of their temperature detection is really, really good. And so there's a lot of application outside of just how are you sleeping that this might be applicable for. And that's probably why they decided to up the ante on this feature. 
in that similar vein, they have a, a new feature specifically for females that will help detect your menstrual cycle and when you're going to be entering into the different phases of that cycle, which is really cool. I'm not, I am not going to be able to benefit from that, but for all the ladies out there, for all the females, that's really cool. You know, you can start maybe taking it easy as you get closer to your time of the month, or maybe after you're done with your cycle, you're like, okay, I can push it harder now. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but um, let me know in the comments if you're a woman and you're interested in getting the aura ring. Is that you know, cool for you. Do, do you feel like that would be helpful? We'd love to hear from you. Now on to the next and most exciting sort of upgrade that they've made to this new version of the Aura Ring, which is their accuracy of their data. And when we're talking about the data, we're talking about a couple different metrics here. We're talking about heart rate variability, heart rate, and the sleep data. And that goes for all the different phases of sleep, deep, light, and REM sleep. And I will link another resource right up here from the quantified scientists who showed that the, the level of accuracy that the new Aura Ring 3 is promising is incredible. It's better than almost any other consumer wearable on the market in terms of uh, that level of accuracy for the sleep data. In addition to that, we're gonna start seeing better auto detection of workouts and naps, which for me was something I also mentioned in that video about my predictions, which is linked up in the description in the cards as well, about how my Aura Ring was really good at picking up when I was walking, but it didn't really pick up when I was strength training or doing any other type of activity. It would always just sort of categorize it as walking. And so I'm excited to see if that level of accuracy changes and it knows when I'm doing different types of activity versus walking, strength training, swimming, hiking, yoga, whatever, right? It will be really cool to see if it actually works. That's to be determined. Okay, so here's why I'm bullish on the Aura Ring 3 and why I'm going to get one and why I'm going to encourage people around me to get one as well. I'm not really happy about the way that they rolled out this new generation and the way that their customer service is handling things. Honestly, it's been a total shit show for lack of a better phrase. And in addition to that, the ethics of putting your data behind a paywall after you had already been given that data, it just doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. It feels icky. But if we zoom out, you know, and if we think about just a couple years before, you know, even five, 10 years before, uh, this information, this data was never available to consumers before. And so the way that I'm looking at this is this little ring is literally a sleep lab on your finger. And so the narrative in my mind is, okay, I'm paying a couple hundred bucks plus a $6 a month subscription fee for literally a supercomputer just on my finger. And I think people just forget like how far we've come in such a short period of time. It's like when Wi-Fi became available on airplanes and all of a sudden the Wi-Fi goes down, people start freaking out and they get all up in arms and it's like, everyone's all angry. It's like, how could you be mad about something that you didn't have five minutes ago? And Louis CK does a great skit where he sort of <laughs> talks about this idea, but it's like how quick we are to normalize things. You know, when, when before you didn't have any of this information at your fingertips. You had no idea what was going on with your sleep. You would just wake up and you'd be tired and you'd be like, well, you know, uh, I guess I just, I'm not a good sleeper. When really like you ate just too close to your bedtime and it spiked your blood sugar or you're sleeping in a hot room and your temperature was elevated or so on and so forth, right? Like how quickly do we become so accustomed to the privileges of technology in modern day life that were not available to us even a couple years ago. The word that I'm looking for is spoiled. How, how, how have we become so spoiled that, you know, to have a sleep lab on your finger for $6 a month on top of, you know, $2.99 becomes a big deal. Come on, we live in an amazing time. All right, this is a beautiful thing, this ring and all the other wearables that are giving us information about our health. It's incredible, we live in an amazing time. So that's number one, okay? Number two is coming back to these two pictures. So this is a picture of my client's data. This is someone who I've been working with for three months and he came to me because he was having issues with his blood pressure and he was, his HRV was super low and he wasn't sleeping and his, he was stressed and he was just like, dude, I need some help. Can you please help me? I was like, yes, of course I can help you. And I've helped many people improve their sleep and their stress and their HRV and all these things. So absolutely. When we started working together, uh, I was giving him the protocols that I've used and helped you know, thousands of people at this point use to improve their sleep, improve their HRV, improve all these things. Granted, he's been going through a huge transition in his life. There's a lot going on. He's been doing a lot of stuff right and he's been doing it consistently for, you know, an extended period of time. And I just said, you know, do me a favor and just 
wear this Polar H10 chest strap. I want you to check your HRV in the morning. We were doing a lot of things and I wasn't seeing his HRV numbers increase as much as I would like them to increase based on the stuff that we were doing. When he took his morning readiness score with the Polar H10 chest strap, I cross-referenced it against the Aura Ring data. The Polar H10 chest strap, which is way more accurate than the Aura Ring, uh, was significantly higher, like 20 or 30 points higher from an HRV perspective. And I was like, okay, let's keep doing this. Let's keep testing. Let's see what happens if we do this every day for a week. And sure enough, as he was checking his morning readiness score with the Polar H10 chest strap and the Aura Ring cross-referencing them, time and time again, there was that same delta of 20 to 30 points in his HRV, which he was in his mind freaking out about how low his HRV is, when in reality, it's 20 or 30 points higher than what he thought. To me, that's a good indication that the Aura Ring 2 is actually not that accurate. And so if you're gonna be making lifestyle interventions and changes to your habits and starting to quantify some of this stuff, you want to be using data that's actually accurate, right? And so that is why I believe it's worth it to upgrade to the Aura Ring 3, even if you have to pay the membership because you'll get the next level of accuracy. Will Aura be able to deliver on their promises around that level of accuracy? That is yet to be seen, but based on the video that I mentioned up here and is linked in the description from the Quantified Scientist, all signs point to good things which gets me excited because if someone has uh, accurate data and they're using that to start making changes in their life, they can start seeing real results really, really fast. So with that being said, those are my thoughts on the Aura Ring 3 and why I'm gonna be upgrading. And I would love to know in the comments if you're gonna upgrade or what you think about their rollout and their announcement and if it rubbed you the wrong way or, or not. I'd love to start a discussion in the comment section and hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and go check out some of those other videos that I, that I referenced. Yeah. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Peace. Be well.